Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're diving headfirst into the awesome world of hydroponics. We're about to unlock the secrets to growing more for less with 10 genius hydroponic hacks. We're talking about repurposing everyday stuff you probably already have lying around the house, getting those plants thriving on a budget. So if you're ready to unleash your inner mad scientist gardener and take your hydroponic game to the next level, buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get this growing adventure started. All right, let's kick things off with a classic turning trash into treasure. We're talking about giving those old containers a new life as hydroponic homes for your plants. Got some empty storage bins collecting dust? Boom, instant hydroponic garden. Five gallon buckets from your last home improvement project? Perfect for larger plants. Even those empty water jugs can be transformed into mini hydroponic systems. Remember to check those containers are food grade, especially if you're growing herbs or veggies. Now, before you start planting in anything you find, give it a good scrub with soap and water. This is all about getting creative and resourceful. Don't be afraid to experiment with different containers and see what works best for you and your plants. Let's talk about keeping things low maintenance with a super simple yet incredibly effective hydroponic hack the wicking system. This is perfect for beginners because it's practically foolproof. Imagine this, a system where your plants water themselves. You'll need some absorbent material like cotton rope or strips of felt. This acts as a wick, drawing water up from a reservoir and delivering it straight to your plant's roots. The key here is to use a lightweight growing medium that won't compact and hinder the water flow. A mix of perlite and vermiculite works like a charm. No more daily watering chores, no more guessing if your plants are thirsty. The wicking system takes care of it all, leaving you free to enjoy the fruits or veggies of your labor. You can find all the materials you need at your local garden center or even online. So ditch that watering can and embrace the simplicity of the wicking system. All right, let's talk about keeping things cool in the world of hydroponics. Just like us, plants need to stay cool to thrive, especially those roots. If the water temperature in your hydroponic system gets too high, you risk stressing those plants out, leading to all sorts of problems like root rot and stunted growth. But don't worry, we've got a simple and effective hack to combat the heat ice bottles. Fill a few bottles with water, toss them in the freezer, and boom, you've got yourself some DIY chillers. Just drop one or two into your reservoir whenever the temperature starts to creep up. It's a quick and easy way to bring the overall temperature down and keep those roots happy. Plus, it's a great way to reuse those plastic bottles and reduce waste. For occasional heat waves, this ice bottle hack is a lifesaver. Get ready to unleash your inner plumber because we're about to dive into the world of PVC piping. This stuff is like the Lego of the hydroponics world. It's affordable, easy to work with, and incredibly versatile. We're talking about building your own custom hydroponic systems, tailored to your space and your plant's needs. Whether you're dreaming of a sleek nutrient film technique, NFT system, or a classic drip system, PVC piping is your new best friend. You can find PVC pipes and fittings at any hardware store. Just grab a pipe cutter, some PVC cement, and let your imagination run wild. You can create vertical systems, horizontal systems, even spiraling systems. The possibilities are endless. And the best part, PVC is incredibly durable. So ditch those expensive pre-made systems and embrace the power of PVC. Let's talk about lighting. One of the most crucial aspects of hydroponics, but also one of the most expensive if you're not careful. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some budget-friendly lighting solutions that won't break the bank. First up, we've got LED strips and CFL bulbs. These bad boys are energy efficient, which means they'll save you money on your electricity bill in the long run. Plus, they're readily available and super affordable. Just make sure you choose bulbs that emit a good balance of warm and cool light to support both vegetative and flowering stages. Hang those lights close to your plants to maximize their effectiveness. With a little creativity and these affordable options, you'll have those plants soaking up the rays in no time. All right, let's talk about giving those roots some air. Just like us, plants need oxygen to thrive, and that includes their roots. That's where air stones come in. These little guys are like tiny oxygen factories bubbling away in your nutrient solution and keeping those roots happy and healthy. You can grab an air stone and a simple air pump from any aquarium supply store for a pretty reasonable price. 
The constant stream of bubbles helps to oxygenate the water, preventing root rot and promoting faster, healthier growth. And here's a pro tip. Keep an eye on those air stones and give them a good cleaning every now and then. Over time, they can get clogged with mineral deposits or algae, which can reduce their effectiveness. Adding an air stone to your hydroponic system is a simple, affordable, and incredibly effective way to boost plant growth and keep those roots happy. All right, let's talk about feeding those plants. While there are plenty of pre-made nutrient solutions out there, why not try your hand at creating your own? It can be a fun experiment, and it might even save you some money in the long run. Now before you start mixing up a concoction in your kitchen, it's important to do your research. Plants need a specific balance of macro and micronutrients to thrive, so you'll need to make sure your DIY solution has everything they need. Some common ingredients include Epsom salt, which provides magnesium and sulfur, aquarium water, which contains beneficial bacteria, and compost tea, which is a natural source of nutrients. But here's the deal. DIY nutrient solutions can be a bit trickier to get right than pre-made ones. You'll need to carefully monitor your plants for any signs of deficiencies or toxicities. Start with a diluted solution and gradually increase the concentration as needed. Let's talk pH, the measure of acidity or alkalinity in your hydroponic system. Keeping your pH in check is crucial for nutrient absorption. If the pH is off, your plants won't be able to access the nutrients they need, no matter how much you feed them. Now you could go out and buy fancy pH up and down solutions, but did you know you probably already have what you need right in your kitchen? That's right, we're talking about vinegar and baking soda. If your pH is too high, alkaline, a little bit of diluted vinegar can help bring it down. On the other hand, if your pH is too low, acidic, a pinch of baking soda can raise it back up. While vinegar and baking soda can be useful for minor adjustments, they're not as precise or as stable as commercial pH adjusters. Regularly test your nutrient solution and make small adjustments as needed. Your plants will thank you for it with healthy growth and bountiful harvests. All right, let's talk about giving those plants some support. Just like a skyscraper needs a strong foundation, your plants need a little help to stay upright, especially as they grow taller and start producing fruits or flowers. And what's more readily available than chopsticks or bamboo skewers? That's right, those trusty utensils can be repurposed into plant supports in a snap. Just gently insert the chopstick or skewer into the growing medium near the base of the plant, being careful not to damage the roots. You can then loosely tie the plant to the support using soft ties, like twist ties or even strips of old fabric. Avoid anything too tight or abrasive, as this can damage the delicate stems. As your plants grow you can add more supports or adjust the ties as needed. This will help them stay upright, prevent breakage, and ensure that all parts of the plant are getting adequate light exposure. So next time you're about to toss out those chopsticks, think twice. All right, let's talk about taking your hydroponic game to the next level with a little bit of automation. Now, before you start picturing robots tending to your plants, we're talking about simple, affordable ways to automate some of the key tasks in your hydroponic system. First up, we've got timers. You can plug your lights, pumps, and even fans into timers, setting them to turn on and off at specific times. This not only saves you time and effort, but it also ensures that your plants are getting the right amount of light, water, and air circulation, even when you're not around. And if you're feeling really tech-savvy, you can even dive into the world of DIY controllers. Platforms like Arduino and Raspberry Pi allow you to create custom controllers that can monitor and adjust pH levels, nutrient concentrations, and even lighting schedules with incredible precision. It's like having a mini computer controlling your entire hydroponic system, ensuring optimal growing conditions 24-7. But even if you're not quite ready for the world of DIY controllers, simple timers can make a world of difference in your hydroponic setup. So ditch the manual labor and embrace the power of automation. So there you have it, folks. 10 genius hydroponic hacks to save you money and send those plants into overdrive. Remember, hydroponics doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. If you found these hacks helpful, give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow gardening enthusiasts. Now go out there, get your hands dirty, or should I say, wet, and start growing. Until next time, happy gardening.